Hello. We have another game, Crimson Clover World Ignition. It's a shoot 'em up game, but um, it does not work with Steam, Steam's Xbox 360 controller uh, emulation of configuration for generic joysticks. However, this game does work perfectly with the normal uh, zero delay encoders. So what you have to do is right click on the game, select properties. And in the Steam input per game setting, you should put it to forced off. So it doesn't use the Xbox 360 controller configuration from Steam. And then when you play the game, you can set up your joysticks. It detects my both my zero delay encoders without problem. And uh, it plays perfectly also. If you do have the Xbox 360 controller configuration, uh, enabled, it won't work for uh, pressing, uh, even navigating the menus won't work, so you will need a keyboard. It's also possible you need a keyboard initially to set up the game, but I had already set it up. In settings you can go to the key settings, and then go to the controller settings. And as you can see, it detects my generic joysticks, and then you basically press the buttons, which one you want to use for the, the game. You only three need three buttons, shooting, blocking and braking and the pause button or the start button of course. Um, I also noticed if you don't, you cannot control the, the menu with the second player but you should go to the second player option and then press the buttons accordingly for the second player option. So shoot, cancel, break, start. And then everything works perfectly. Now I can show you some other settings. You can uh, set up the screen, even scale it. I think it has all other options. Here is the linear for the scaling. Um, but I don't use stretching. That's why I have uh, black bars below and above it. Um, so yeah, let's play again. It's a bullet hell shooter. For some reason though, initially it seems to detect always the two player setup, but I'm not sure why. Maybe I have set up my uh, generic joysticks wrong. Let me go, let me select one and go back. Now it detects only one player, but I'm not sure why it does that. It's not a big problem. So I'm pressing the target button. You basically have a radar, as you can see here. And it will auto lock on to, to planes, to enemies. And if you release the button, it will shoot a high powered uh, beam to them to destroy them. Or at least to, to let them take some damage. So you have to press the, the, the brake button, uh, sorry, the target button, and then release it. But there's also a bomb. I'm not sure if there's a break. I'm not really sure what it does. You can see I release it and then it shoots. So you do have to use the break button, ah oh, sorry, the target button, it does help.
great murder. It seems to give you more power. Stop this bar on the right if you can see it to show you when the bomb is ready. Now there will be a little boss. At any time, I think you can press the two player button. To let them join in, but you cannot choose the same plane. And there you have the second player. Great game. So yeah, that was the first stage. You can also press the pause button and return to title screen easily. And on the title screen, once you press start, you can choose to quit the game. So yeah, this was cool. Crimson Clover, Vault Ignition.